hello everyone welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so in the previous part we talked about how we have implemented the parallel testing in our framework right and uh, we used test ng and thread local by creating the thread local variables uh, we have implemented the parallel testing but we found an issue as well like uh, when we run our test using parallel is equal to methods then we found the problem like one of the test case got failed right so the problem occurs when we have two test cases in the same class correct so that issue has been fixed so today i'll show you how i have fixed that issue so let me take you to eclipse guys and uh, this is the xml uh, testng.xml which we have used and the problem uh, occurred when we use parallel is equal to methods right and we have four classes in our framework so far we used four uh, classes dummy class so all the test classes having single test case except this login page test so this login page test has uh, two test cases correct valid login and invalid login so when we uh, run in parallel modes parallel is equal to methods what was what happened like uh, there is a race condition between the two tests right and there is a conflict occurred and uh, our test got failed so today i have resolved it but before that let me explain quickly like what we have implemented in the previous session so as part of the parallel testing we have created two objects two variables of thread local class right we have created the object over here uh, by creating the object of thread local class here and uh, we use java uh, like generics here by passing this web driver and action driver objects so these are the two variables we have created driver and action driver correct to implement the parallel testing correct so we have spoken about it right what is thread local so here you can see thread local is java utility class that provides thread local variables each thread accessing a thread local variable gets its own isolated copy of the variable correct which is not shared with the other threads so for that reason we have created two th uh, thread local objects uh, variables in fact so driver and action driver and uh, we have just made some changes in our uh, base class so where are the changes so using the we are going to use we used set and get method correct to uh, you, we used set method to set the uh, to initialize the action driver over here you can see here action driver dot set and here we have created the object of action driver and we used to set that variable uh, in that action driver variable right and uh, here we just printing the uh, the thread id what is the thread id so this is what uh, we made the change one change and uh, if you talk about the getter and setter method here you can see getter method here so we just used driver dot get get method to get the driver object correct driver dot get uh, to get the driver instance so here also we have changed instead of using driver driver dot get similarly for action driver as well here we have used action driver dot get and here as well we are returning the action driver dot get and uh, on top we just used like this uh, instead of driver dot manage dot timeouts we used get driver which we will get the driver from the uh, getter method similarly for uh, this one as well other statement uh, other statement right here and we use the same in uh, tear down method as well correct now what i have made the changes in this uh, to fix the issue i just declared setup method as synchronized okay so what happens when we declare the method as synchronization uh, synchronized so in parallel testing or when we talk about the multi-threading or synchronization so only one thread can execute the particular method which is declared as synchronized right uh, uh, on particular object so when i declared this setup method as synchronized so only one thread can use this method at a time even though we'll run the script in parallel mode but it will be used at a time by single thread so this method setup method i have declared as synchronized and you can see one more method as well so inside that what we do uh, we launch the browser and uh, there is configure browser right two methods are there which internal math internal methods of this base class 
so here we have those two methods launch browser so this one also i have declared as synchronization so at the same time uh, only one thread will use this method to uh, create the object of particular driver like let's say we are using we are passing the chrome driver uh, chrome over here so we'll you we create the object of chrome driver over here right and we use, just use the set method to set the driver so this is one more uh, one method guide uh, guys and uh, for chrome uh, for configure browser we don't need that synchronized method here and uh, for tear down also we need while uh, closing the browser we should use this synchronized over here as well so this is very uh, like uh, minimal changes which i made uh, to fix the issue and uh, now let me show you how we can run this right in parallel mode parallel is equal to method so let's see whether it is working fine or not so right click and run as test in this suite so when we run parallel is equal to methods so five threads should be created five thread id for five test cases right we have given thread count as five now you can see guys everything uh, looking good all the test cases are passed correct if you see in other tabs as well so all the test cases are passed successfully now let me just copy the console the whole console and uh, i'll put it over here the notepad and i'll show you how many threads will be uh, how many threads were created okay so you can see here uh, action driver initialized for thread 23 24 26 22 all are different threads right and 25 will be there so 22 23 24 25 and 26 correct so this is how you can run the test cases in parallel mode uh, using methods now let me quickly recap how we can run through classes as well so if i use classes so four four threads will be executed right uh, the two test cases from this login page test will use the single thread so and that will run sequentially all other uh, other test cases will be executed parallelly okay so these this is the difference so four first four browser will be opened and later on one more browser will be open to execute the another test case from this login page test class so let's have a look now you can see four uh, browsers and uh, one more browser will open later on the last one like this so this is the shared thread which is open at last so you can see five test cases all are passed and all the test cases are passed here as well so let me just copy the console again and i'll show you how many threads were created so you can see 21 22 24 23 so we got 21 22 23 24 and the same 23 correct so one share uh, one thread is shared by two test cases so this is what uh, we can run using classes parallel is equal to classes now let me show you the test as well before that what we'll do will uh, so this will execute this particular test under uh, this test tag will be executed in one thread only so what we'll do we'll create one more test suit over here and i'll give the name like orange hrm test one and this one orange hrm test right now let me run in parallel is equal to test so only through two threads will be created well but we'll get 10 test cases right two threads will be created and that will be executed that will execute all the uh, 10 test cases so at, at the same time one uh, like two browser will be opened that's how it will do for five times so let me run it 
so you can see two browsers got open and uh, it will execute Now you can see 10 test cases all are passed right now if i copy the console over here from here and put it over here and you'll see only two threads should be there 24 23 and here you can see 24 23 24 23 here as well 24 23 and at last 24 so why two threads only because we have we are running a parallel is going to test right so this will be considered in a single thread this will be executed in single thread and another test will be executed in single thread so this is how you can execute your test cases in parallel mode yeah and uh, let me change it to classes you can use classes as well yeah so this is how you can uh, fix the issue guys and uh, don't worry about the codes uh, the code which i have written right uh, i'll share the code uh, once we are done with the framework i'll push the code into github so this is all for today and uh, in the next video we'll talk about the cross browser testing so thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye and please subscribe this channel if you haven't done so far thank you